We're here with Alexis Piazza, TFA alum, and Kip, seventh grade math teacher, to tell you about a great math activity called 60 Second Sweep. Hey TFAers, this is something called the 60 Second Sweep. It's something I've been using with students for last year to help build basic skills in math. Um, it works kind of like a multiplication table, but instead of it saying two times two and students write four, you can see there's four there and students say out loud the factors. They're gonna say two times two is four. Um, so the way that it works is basically they say the factors between two and nine for each number. So they would say two times two is four, two times three is six, and you never say, you never say the factor of one. So that's the obvious one. Um, and as they get faster and faster, they're actually not gonna say two times two. All they'll say is two, two. So the way it works when they get faster is they say two, two, four, two, three, six, two, four, eight, three, three, nine, two, five, ten, two, seven, fourteen, and so on. Um, the ones in the middle are special because they have two pairs. So 12 is two, six, 12, three, four, 12. 4, 4, 16, 2, 8, 16, and so on. Um, it's called the 60 second sweep because basically the goal is that they're able to do the whole way down in 60 seconds. And almost, I've never met a student who could do it the first time in 60 seconds, but almost any student given enough time and some practice can quickly see themselves improve to do it. Um, and so there's different modifications, there's different levels that I have with students. It starts at the silver level, which means they're going down, 2, 2, 4, 2, 3, 6, et cetera, all the way down in 60 seconds. Um, the gold level is going backwards starting here and then working their way backwards up. Then different levels where they start in the middle, going diagonally down. Then starting in the middle, going diagonally up. And then revolutionary, which means they're doing all the way down and then again in 60 seconds, which I've already had several students do, um, even though I can't. Uh, the other thing that they're great for is not only multiplication facts, but since they're immediately factoring, it really helps them with division. So if you're having trouble with students not only being able to know their multiplication facts, but just being able to divide more quickly, this is really the activity for them. Um, yeah, so all you really need to do to find it is to Google 60 Second Sweep, and you should be able to find this exact photo. So there you go. Thanks, Alexis. And I've actually attached 60 Second Sweep materials to this post. You can catch it there. We'll see you soon. Bye.